Good to see you again. I love talking with words. I'm a word person. I'm sitting here and saying it's good to see you. And I can't see a one of you, but I can hear and hopefully you can hear me. Okay, we're going to talk about this is a request I got from one of you guys where um, you have a field that's a number, but in the pick list you want to show as a string. And so I'm going to break this up into two weeks. This week I'm going to look at doing a static parameter, and next week I'm going to do it using a dynamic parameter. So what we're going to do today, as I go to the next one, we're going to take physical year, which is a number field, which shows it 2 comma 002 with the decimal places and, and uh, two zeros behind it, but one shows 2012. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the account field. And I'm going to do a little more with that because it takes a little more to maintain our field once we um, bring it in our pick list to export and import it. And like I said, we're going to do the same thing using dynamic parameters next week. So here, let me do our 20-second commercial. We do customized reports. We do the training, use your data. So when we come and train you, use your data. We build your reports on site as you train, which speeds up the process. And also, you walk away with the report that works and use your data. If you need to contact me, here's my uh, here is my phone number and email, and this Tom Zidell's as well. And down at the bottom, we have the, the uh, archived webinars, so you can check it out if you like. And I have the next session there, and it has nothing to do with the next session, so I'm going to click out that and click on, click open Crystal Reports. So what I've done is I've got two fields on here. We, we have the physical year and the account number. And if you notice that both of these are numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the parameter for the physical year as a number first to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go here to parameter fields. I'm going to right click on it, select new, and then I'm going to type in year up here inside the name. And it is a number field. How did I know that? Well, I hovered over it. It told me it was. I'll go back and show you. So I, I select number here. And then I can go into the action fields here, or actually we'll go to the value fields and bring in the physical year or my pick list. So I'm going to hit actions and pin all database values. And notice as it comes through, now see, it's supposed to come through as it has been before, I guess because I've been playing with this one. It should have came through with, uh, well, when I go to show it, it will anyway. So I'm going to click on year there. I'm going to go up to my funnel, which is a select expert. I'm going to select the physical year field, click OK, where our physical year is going to be equal to, and do the drop down. And since the year is a number, or the field is a number, the parameter is a number, the year is going to show up here. Now look, here's our comma, our 2000 with the commas and stuff. So I'm going to select is equal to year, click OK, and now I want to do the drop down. Our pick list has commas in it. Now a lot of times it has commas and it also has decimal places and zeros behind it. That's not what we want. I'm picking one here so I can get out of it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to get rid of my parameter as it is and was. So I'm going to delete this out of the record selection editor. You don't have to really know that. I'm just doing this to, to get back to where I was at. I'm going to go ahead and delete our, our uh, parameter there. So I'm going to go up here. I'm, I'm looking at the GL amounts inside Lawson where the actuals live. And I'm going to right click on physical year and browse data. And notice this is a number. But I want to display as a string. So I'm going to go back over to my parameters. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select new. I'm going to go over here to where it says name again. And I'm going to type in year, just like I did before. And this is a number. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the type as a string. And leave it as a static. And I'm going to go to the value field. I'm going to drop down. All the fields are going to show up here. So I'm going to pick physical year. Even though I know physical year is a number, I'm going to pick it here and tell it to append all database values. So now it comes across here, here are the years that's in the database. And the thing is, is I'm going to show you how to maintain this if you ever want to add it. So I'm going to go down to the value options and default value, you can put a value in if you want to. I'm going to click OK here. And now notice when I go back to the funnel, the select expert, and then I uh, pick fiscal year here and click OK or fiscal year is going to be equal to the parameter. So I do a drop down, the parameter is not showing. Why? Because the parameter is a string and not a number. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and I can go to the formula editor here, which takes me to my uh, record selection. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to, um, instead of going to this, I'm going to go up to the report. 
I'm going to menu bar, select report. I'm going to go down to select selection formulas and select record. And then I'm going to go up here and do where physical year is going to be equal to my parameter. So the parameter is going to be in here. I mean, it's going to show up in here. But the problem is the physical year is a number. The physical year or the year parameter is a string. So I select the X2. It's going to tell me, oh, yeah, by the way, this number is required here. So what I'm going to do is go in front of the number or front of the year. And I'm going to hold down the control button, hit the space bar. And here's my functions. I'm going to type in TO for two number. So here's two number. And then I'm going to put the parentheses around this. So now my, my year parameter still, it's a string. It's a numeric string. I'm change it to a number inside my select statement. So when I come back here, and then I enter the year, I do a drop down here, notice how my parameter is a string and not a number, but when I click on it, it's going to bring, it's going to bring in 2009. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with, um, I'm going to do the same thing with account. If I go up to the account, account is a, click on that, browse data, it is a number. So I'm going to go back down to my parameters. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select new and we'll call this an account. I'm going to leave the type as a string even though it's a number. I'm going to go to the value field and do a drop down here and select count from here and then go back to actions and append all database values. Now the thing is, is that you're going to have, you're going to be adding more and more accounts. I understand that that's why people use dynamic parameters versus static parameters, but I just want to show you this and how to maintain it as well. So I'm going to go down here to default value and I'm going to put an asterisk down here just for the fun of it. So I'm click OK. Here's my pick list. I'm going to click OK here. And I'm going to go back up to the menu bar, select report, selection formulas, select record, and then I'm going to put the and statement over here. So and, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do the exact same thing before for account well, actually, I'm going to go up here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to grab with account and then put a parentheses in front of this. Account is going to be equal to that, the, um, the asterisk I had up there. Now, the account is a string. The asterisk is a string, so that's okay. Or I'm going to tell it where uh, my account parameter, I'm going to change this to number. So I'm going to hold down the control button, hit the space bar, and then I'm hit TO. So I'm going to change this to number. So we're looking at the first one, where physical year, which is a number, is going to be looking at the year as a string, but converted to a number here. And where account, if account equals that asterisk, it's going to bring back in all of the accounts. If it's not, it's going to bring back just the account that we selected. So we converted the account to a number here. So I'm going to check the syntax. That is missing. OK. All right, I love when this happens. I do it all week long, all day long, and it works just fine. And I get in here and it does this. OK, so let's. Oh, yeah, it needs, <laughs> it needs to be equal to something. So we're going to say, well, that's going to be equal to um, our account field. I'm sitting there looking at like, duh, what am I missing here? So our account number is going to be, is going to be equal to our account field. No errors found. I sure hope there's not any errors in there. So I'm going to check my syntax. I'm good. So I'm going to save and close. So now I'm going to go up here, and there's my asterisk. That's the default value. So if I leave it alone right there and I click OK, I get everything. Now I'm going to go back up and refresh this and prompt for value. And when I do the drop down this time, notice how my values are all, it's all, it's all strings. Because I, I know especially for year, when somebody goes to run a parameter, it says um, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, they're thinking, what in the world is that? So it just makes it more sense when you convert this to a string. So let me pick one here and click OK. Now, I want to go back to this, and I want to edit this just for a minute. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to edit this. 
And I want to add the asterisk, actually, in my values. And if I go down to the bottom of this values, there's 90 and 90, 90, and I want to add 90, 91 to this. I can do it right here by just clicking the Add Item. But I'm doing it a different way. I'm going to go up here to Actions, do a drop down, and select Export. So I'm going to export this to my documents. I'm going to call it the account list. So I'm just going to save it as the account list. And put Save. Yes. Now I'm going to go to my doc where that lives, and I'm going to double click on the account list. And I'm going to go up here to where, right above 2001, I'm going to put the asterisk there. Then I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of this and add 90, 91. And any other the accounts I just added to that, do a file, save as. And we'll leave it the, the account list. Save that, replace it, sure. Now I'm going to go back to my report again. And then let's say that I ran this. I go back. I'm going to open up my parameter. I'm going to go back to the actions inside the parameter. I'm going to select import. And I'm going to point it to that file that we just created and click OK or click open. And notice now my asterisk there is one of the values and any of the values that I've added in between there. So I click OK. And I refresh again. Year is a number that's displayed as a string. Um, account is a number. It's displayed as a string. And so I'm going to pick asterisk again just so I get everything. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm, I'm going to display it as a dynamic parameter. And that's more detailed, or there's more to that because it's not this easy. You have to go create. Well, we'll get there next week. So let me go back and see if there's any questions real quick. No questions. All right. So this was an easy one this week. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any requests of uh, things that you'd like to see done, I've gotten several. This is one of them. Next week will be one of them. And the week after is another one. So I'm taking requests and do the best I can with those and get back with you. So you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care. I'm going to stay online here, too, for a few more minutes, just in case you have questions. So if you need to go, go ahead. Not, I'll sit here and wait for any questions that come across. Looks like everybody's starting to log off, so you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. The organizer has.